Uh, hello everyone. This is a demonstration for Moxa E series IOLogic E series uh, controllers, which uh, are uh, connected on the network, which means they can act as a remote controller, a DCS. And uh, I um, have managed to configure uh, a feature using a feature called uh, Click and Go. A little logic um, sequencer uh, to simulate a traffic light sequence happening. Uh, this is uh, can also be considered as a PLC then with a little logic program working. This mounts on a DIN rail uh, along with the power supply uh, which is very handy. Uh, that's 24 volts power supply and uh, also using relays and I have been using uh, these particular relays which are pretty good actually they are bought from uh, eBay and they are uh, totally solid state relays uh, as you can see they are 24 volts to 380 volts AC outputs they can turn on and off and input is 3 volts to 32 volts DC which works very well uh, with the uh, IOLogic controllers for controlling uh, uh, converting to power controls yes and um, what I have got here is a little demonstration of a traffic light working if I can just steady the uh, camera as you can see the sequencer is working away fine without any uh, difficulty um, I can change the timing of the changeovers because I'm using uh, internal timers which are available and I'm using uh, four timers for the four states. The, um, the point to consider here is simply that uh, there is a feature called click and go which allows you to write a little program in a kind of a state logic and uh, it will just uh, loop around those statements. Yes. The um, point here, the important point, is that the speed of the loop is much faster than the timers that take time to change over. So what you have to use is internal registers as flags and indicators as to what state, whether it's the red state or red and amber state or green state and so on and so forth, to be executing. Um, I'll show that uh, little program in a minute. Uh, alongside, it's uh, lots and lots of... Uh, goodies that come with this controller for instance um, there is the control panel which is called uh, IO admin and IO, IO admin is very very uh, user friendly and you have you know lots of features in IO admin for a start you can get the general picture of what is exactly happening and as you can see uh, the uh, the outputs that are changing uh, are actually indicated by the red changeovers and uh, they are going from on to off state and I'm basically using uh, three outputs to connect to red, amber and green and the combination of the outputs are shown here. I have also got a feedback from the uh, the outputs uh, to the inputs it has got uh, 12 inputs and 8 outputs so I'm just using the three of the outputs here I can't get into focus um, uh, that is D0, 1 and 2 and they're basically fitting in to the inputs of D8, 9 and 10 and starting with uh, DI0 so DI8, 9 and DI and that will also reflect on the um, get this in focus on the DI's here also changing in as you can see DI DI uh, are changing as well in conjunction with uh, the changes in the DO okay 8, 9 and 10 are changing now uh, I have the IO admin going. I will change over the uh, the screen 
to um, uh, active uh, at X. No, click and go. Uh, with click and go, I have a little program written, and as you can see, the state starting with uh, zero enabled, and what I've got there is internal register zero and internal register one is used and you basically set them to zero and then what you do you start a timer and you then change the the state of one of those uh, registers to one so that this line will not be executed so long the timer is turned on and uh, what happens during this state you just make the outputs D0, D1 and D2 on, off and off, which means the red is on, the uh, amber is off and the green is off. And basically what you do, you wait for the internal timer and the second line is for the other set of uh, traffic lights. And then the next line here, you just wait for the timer to time out. And uh, what happens when the timer times out, you also change the register values as well so that this set of um, execution will be completed and as it's looping around like mad it will not execute this loop basically it will go on to the next loop so this is a little traffic light program that is written uh, that would uh, normally be done using a PLC is uh, just to demonstrate that it can be done within the capability of this uh, 2210 E2210 uh, device which uh, can then be used in a different circumstances for instance uh, with uh, regards to safety requirements for hoppers door shuttings and all that on power failure or an emergency switch or whatever like you know temperature overheating and all that so it is um, very very useful and to show that uh, this program again could be backed up and saved is downloaded into the uh, controller and it can also be retrieved back from the controller and reprogram and what have you so I'm very pleased with it now this controller apparently comes as I said with lots and lots of goodies you can send emails using SMTP and uh, SNMP traps which I'm going to um, explore in my next video thank you for watching